I don't know if I should speak in Hungarian or English. Hey guys. Okay, um, this is my favorite liquid lipstick. It's from MUA Cosmetics in the shade Tranquility. I love it so much. It's really, really nude, but it's what I like. Okay, I can't see anything. Yeah. Three pounds. You can't beat that. And MUA Cosmetics, if you're watching, hit me up. Lipstick. Which lipstick? Take this one with me. Hey guys. Good morning. So, well, I wanted to answer a question I had from Shada Bobam. See ya, Shadi. She said, what is your favorite mascara now? I don't have a favorite that I always go back to. I always just usually get different ones, but I will say that the mascara that I have been enjoying is the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Hippie Mascara. The one looks like this really nicely built up my lashes now i have gotten a new one because this one's running out so i did get a new one from rimmel it's called scandalize it's this orange one and i do not like this i don't like rimmel mascaras if you want to get a good one go for either maybelline or l'oreal because i think their products are the best in drugstores just my own penny. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Hope you enjoy. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my makeup when I travel. I'm just traveling both of them. I have two grandmas, so I'm gonna visit both. I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and if you have them, be a bit cute. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. But yeah, I gotta go. This is the most compact makeup travel kit I think I've ever packed in my life. I mean, if you really see the size of this bag, like a year ago me, 2016 me, would have laughed in my face obnoxiously of this amount of makeup. Hey guys, today's the 18th of November and this is weather for today there are two types of people in this world one who are completely useless before their first cup of coffee and one who are not and I'm definitely the first one first thing moisturizer because it softens the skin up and makes the foundation stick to it much better I find and especially in the winter months it gets really 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 cold and hungry so I always like to use a moisturizer then L'Oreal True Match which has slowly creeped its way into my top favorite foundation summer and winter which is a big deal because in the summer I have really really oily skin and in the winter my skin is pretty dry and I still love to use this foundation and I'm using a Coastal Scents flat kabuki brush. And then the sporty brow, uh, brow gel in the color medium. Get my brows. And then I'm gonna use my Miss Sporty Kajel um, dark brown eyeliner. I'm the type of person where I like my eyes to be dark and smoky. I feel like if I don't have any color in my eye, I can look kind of unwell and just not a, not my best. So I like to put a color on my eye. I'm using the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. I got this in a set and this is my favorite brush. And then I will use this Guerlain eyeshadow. This is like a million years old. I'm just gonna put my finger and just dab it on my eyeball. And then I go back with the Real Techniques brush and blend out those edges. Concealer, lighter dye, Maybelline Fit Me. 
concealer. And lately I've been going kind of hard on my concealer and the reason is I, I like the fact that it covers up the darkness under my eyes but also I find that it fills in any like skin imperfections, makes the, the skin look more smooth. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Master Fix Translucent Powder. And this sponge just came in my L'Oreal True Match Powder. It's okay if it kind of looks like a white cast because we will blend it in. Don't worry. Now we take our powder brush and our True Match face powder. And then I also like to use this dark brown I like a smoky eye during the day and then I'm gonna take my NYC bronzer not my favorite but you know what for travel it'll do Do you guys do your makeup for because I always try to cut down my makeup time but then I, I end up at 16 minutes and I'm like Ugh, I'm in too deep when I travel I feel like I need to look extra put together because I'm gonna be obviously seeing people who I don't see on an everyday basis and you want to put your best foot forward because that's their only impression of you and now the special part Carnival dust. Well, I actually got it from my friend, but you can buy little pigments like this in like Superdrug, like Berry M does little pigments like this and I love those. They're so compact. I just took the cap off and I'm using this Benefit brush that I got in one of my blushes, I believe. Lastly, I'm using my mascara. I just got this. It's the Rimmel Scandalize. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this mascara. Maybe if you mix it with a different one, but by itself, it's not really. This is an old, crusty uh, L'Oreal lip liner. I don't even know the name because it just rubbed off. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and, and seeing how I do my makeup when I travel. I definitely know that I will be um, filming some vlog style videos with, with my family when they arrive for the holidays. So be prepared for that. And otherwise, just thank you guys for watching wherever you're from. I appreciate you. I will see you guys in my next one.